Hi, you are watching a presentation by Kenzo. Our team consists of two members. First, Hikaru Kajida will make templates and adjustments to systems. He has two years of experience with Robocop. Second, Kohei Yamashita will sing and create strategy. Same as Hikaru, Kohei has two years of Robocop experience. Additionally, he has one year of Robocop assembling. We are joining the primary category of RCJ Rescue Simulation. The task for this category is to collect the objects efficiently and deposit them quickly. We have three main strategies we can apply to any map for this challenge. First, we set a new variable called process to control the movement. We will discuss this later. Second, we put together the necessary parameters such as colors to the C++ class. This way the structure of the code becomes concise. Third, we apply the standard template library of C++ and functions to make code readable. It will also make code easier to debug. As a result, it becomes a lot easier to focus on strategies on each map rather than spending time on debugging. Therefore, we can say that spending time making the template is crucial. Next, we will discuss specific problems we had during programming. First, we had a problem with robots getting an unbalanced number of objects for each color. For example, the robot took five red objects. It is a problem because the number of super objects generated will decrease. We have solved this problem by using the C++ Ali function. Thanks to this, robots can check the number of objects loaded for each color. So robots will be able to take the bar number of objects for each color. Super objects will be more frequent and the points will grow. Second, we sometimes expect the robot to move complex as it is hard to get into the deposit box for some months. As we said before, we have solved this problem by using the enumerate variable process. We can program complex movement by changing process conditionally and assigning loops to each process. For example, our robot will go to the deposit loops. Once in know objects are loaded and move along the road if there are no super objects. This is the actual video of a robot. Our robots have successfully collected RGB objects and are ready to deposit. When it reaches the purple marker, it will move along it until it detects a trap. It rotates 90 degrees and then deposits. We can apply the ideas and algorithms used in rescue simulation to the real world. For example, some rescue robots use a shortest path algorithm to carry injured people efficiently. Because it needs 3D root searching compared to the 2D in rescue simulation, it is more complex. Bear in mind that there are no co coordinates in this category, so the story differs from this category. However, the essence of the objective is the same, and we can use algorithms such as Dijkstra and A-star that are applied frequently in rescue simulation. That's all for us. Thank you.